Hi, hello, and welcome. Thank you so much for hitting that play button, because I think that you're in for a real treat. What you're catching is the very first installment of a brand new series from the American News called The Crafting Coach. My name is Megan Rosendahl. I'm the digital and mobile content coordinator at the Aberdeen American News, and I'm going to be the coach, your coach, throughout this entire series, teaching you all things crafts and DIY. So here's a little bit about how this series is going to work. In the past couple of years, arts and crafts and do-it-yourself projects have absolutely exploded with the help of one website, Pinterest. Artists are able to do a project, upload it onto the internet, share it with all of their followers, and all of a sudden we have all these great at-home projects that we can do right at our fingertips. They are more creative, they're more personalized, they're often less expensive, and they're just a lot of fun. So we thought, why not break down some of these projects and bring them directly to you? So that's what we're going to do. We're going to find these projects on Pinterest. We're going to break them down. We're going to tear them apart. We're going to look at them. We're going to give you all the materials you'll need, all the step-by-step -step processes that you'll need, and pretty soon you're going to be a crafting coach yourself, and you're going to be able to impress all your friends and family with all of the neat things that you can do. So let's get started. Here's the first project that we're going to do as part of the Crafting Coach, brought to you by the Aberdeen American News. Now, I will admit that this first project isn't necessarily an arts and crafts project, but more of a do-it-yourself project. And what it is, is a fun, quirky, inexpensive way to add a little bit of pizzazz to your nails. What we're going to do is we're going to create at-home DIY newspaper print nails. So here's what you're going to need for this project. A light colored base coat, the Aberdeen American newspaper, rubbing alcohol, and clear top coat. You'll also want to get a small dish for the rubbing alcohol and a scissors to cut up the newspaper. The first thing we'll want to do is paint our nails with our base coat. I recommend a light colored coat so the newsprint will show up better. We want to make sure that our base coat is completely dry before we move on, so make sure to give yourself a little extra time for this. While our nails are drying, we're going to cut up the newsprint into pieces that are just big enough to cover our nails. Find a part that is full of text and start cutting them into smaller pieces. Now that our base coat is completely dry, the real fun can begin. We'll dip our nail into the rubbing alcohol, shake off any excess, and immediately put the newspaper piece onto the nail. Press hard for about four to five seconds, and then peel off slowly. We'll let the first nail air dry and we'll move on to the rest of the nails. Remember to only press the newsprint on for about four to five seconds. If you press too long, the newsprint can dry and then it will stick to your nail. So press hard, but not for very long. The newsprint will more than likely transfer a bit onto the skin around the nail, so I will apply some nail polish remover to a Q-tip and then wipe off the extra print that's on my skin. The final step, finish with a clear top coat to seal. Be sure to let your nails dry completely before, otherwise the top coat could smear the newsprint. And that's it! How fun is this? It's a super inexpensive way to do your nails at home, and it's something that you can do over and over again. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. Remember, I'm not a professional. I just love getting my hands dirty, I love trying new things, and I love seeing what can come out of my mind. We'll be back next week with a brand new video project just for you. We'll take a look at it, we'll break it down, we'll tell you what to do, we'll tell you what not to do, and hopefully we'll have a little bit of fun along the way. Be sure to follow me on Pinterest. You can find me under Megan Rosendahl. Also be sure to follow the American News online and on Facebook where all of the Crafting Coach videos will be made available for you. If you have any tips, suggestions, or ideas, be sure to email me at mrosendahl at aberdeennews.com. We'll see you next time. Bye!